So it's amazing to simply just spread it on your bread like this. I love this texture. Hi, I'm Hambit and I'm a pastry chef from Korea. Hi everybody, it's Hambit here. 안녕하세요, 조한빛입니다. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make an amazing Nutella and it's my version, Hambit's version of Nutella. I know I'm not in my usual outfit, my chef wear, because this is Nutella and I wanted to give a homey feel. So I'm just wearing normal clothes, a normal apron. Although when I'm making Nutella, I'll change back into my chef wear. So what is Nutella? Nutella is a chocolate spread and it's a chocolate spread that contains hazelnuts. And that's why all the homemade Nutella recipes you see out there will contain hazelnut spread. However, my version is different because my recipe contains not hazelnut spread, but hazelnut praline. And that's what makes it so delicious. In short, hazelnut praline is a paste, but it's different to just a simple hazelnut paste because it is a caramelized hazelnut paste. You make caramelized hazelnuts and you blend that into a paste. And what happens in the process is it deepens the flavor and draws out the nuttiness from the hazelnut, which makes it so delicious. And also it adds a note of caramel, which just has to be good, right? I actually have a previous upload on how to make hazelnut praline. It's a very detailed tutorial on how to make hazelnut praline, but I felt it was a bit too long. So I've included a crash course in this tutorial. The ingredients. It's surprisingly simple to make Nutella. You've got the hazelnut praline, which I'm going to show you how to make in a minute. Dark chocolate, which I'm going to melt. Sunflower oil, you can use grapeseed oil. Or in this case, because I'm using hazelnut praline, you can use hazelnut oil and cocoa powder. Talking a bit about the recipe, this is a recipe that I like. I've adjusted the balance between the hazelnut praline and the chocolate to suit my taste. But looking at the recipes out there, I've noticed that they are all vastly different. Some recipes contain a very high proportion of hazelnuts. Some recipes contain a very high proportion of chocolate. So I guess it's a matter of preference. So my advice is to give my recipe a try and just adjust it according to your taste. But a few points when adjusting the recipe. I've seen recipes that use cocoa powder only, but I strongly recommend using covered chocolate or both covered chocolate and cocoa powder, which I've done here. Nutella is essentially a chocolate spread. So you want good and high quality chocolate in there. So do use covered chocolate. The oil is optional. You can leave it out completely. What it does is it affects the texture of the Nutella. What happens with homemade Nutella is it solidifies when it goes in the fridge. And when you leave it out at room temperature, it becomes slightly runny. So what oil does is it affects the runniness or the softness of the Nutella. If you add a lot of oil, more than what I did in my recipe, then it will harden up less inside the fridge. So please adjust the amount of oil according to the texture that you prefer. Have you clicked like and subscribe? Now, the first step is to make hazelnut praline. I strongly recommend you to make the hazelnut praline because it tastes so much better than the store-bought ones. And as mentioned earlier, please watch my detailed tutorial if you want to find out more about how to make it. Obviously, you have water and sugar to make the sugar syrup or the caramel. And you have hazelnuts. First, the water, followed by sugar. What I'm going to do is make the sugar syrup of 115 degrees Celsius and then add in the hazelnuts. I'm going to use an infrared thermometer to measure the temperature. I know that these infrared thermometers aren't as accurate as probe thermometers, but still, they give a very good indication. So I'm going to use it in this case. Right, it's at 115. So I'm going to add my hazelnuts. I'm going to turn the heat off and toss it around. I'm going to continue to stir it and the sugar syrup is going to crystallize on the surface of the hazelnuts. And all this process, this crystallization and what happens afterwards, is basically roasting the hazelnuts. So you don't have to roast the hazelnuts in advance. You can see that the sugar is fully crystallized on the surface of the hazelnuts. And once you see that, you're going to turn the heat back on and then caramelize it. Now, I'm going to turn the heat back on. I'm going to put it on low heat. Continuously stir it. Your arms may hurt a bit, but you'll get an amazing heat of prane and it'll all be worth it. I can see that the sugar crystals are starting to melt.
Make sure you stir it well and melt everything evenly. Scrape the sides down as well because the sugar crystals are stuck on the side. The sugar is eventually going to melt and turn into caramel. Once it reaches 180, I'm going to take it off the heat. The temperature is there as a rough guidance, but you should really do it by looking at the color. You don't want the color to be too bright as that won't taste much like caramel, but not too dark either as that will taste bitter. Let me just check the temperature. Just measure the temperature on top of the hazelnut, not the bottom of the pan. Right, it's 175. Now off the heat. Just spread it out thin so that it's going to cool down quickly. Great, I'm going to let this cool down completely and blend it into form of a paste. Now, here's my caramelized hazelnut all chilled. So I'm going to break it into pieces and put it into my food processor. Now, I'm just going to grind it into a paste. It's turned into very fine pieces. Make sure you scrape the sides off. Let's check. Wow, it's becoming a paste. Look inside right here. So I'm going to scrape the sides off and the lid and then blend further. Wow, that looks amazing. It's turned into paste. Look at this, it's turned into paste. That looks golden. Look at that golden brown color. The color is amazing. And the aroma is just pure hazelnut. And it also has a note of caramel. Right, so we have our hazelnut praline done and looking delicious. What we need to do now is to melt the chocolate and blend everything together in a blender or food processor and that'll be it. This is my food processor. It's a brand called Hanil. It's a Korean brand. I'm not sure if you can buy it abroad outside Korea, but whether you can buy it or not, just get a food processor or a blender. The hazelnut praline goes in. Cocoa powder, the oil, and the melted chocolate. I've melted the chocolate to around 40 to 50 degrees Celsius, so it's runny. I just need to blend it. Wow. I'm just going to scrape the sides and blend it once more and then that'll be it. Gosh, it smells delicious. It smells of chocolate and hazelnuts. It just has to be good. Look at this homemade Nutella. Doesn't it look just amazing? The Nutella will be very runny right after you make it because you've added melted chocolate. But just leave it in the fridge and it'll harden up just like store-bought Nutella. This is a Nutella that's just been finished and it's runny. And this is a Nutella that has been hardened in the fridge and I've taken it out and left it outside for about 10 minutes. And it has an amazing texture. It's amazing as a spread. Look at that. 
So it's amazing to simply just spread it on your bread like this. I love this texture. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hopefully you found this tutorial on homemade Nutella useful. I assure you, you will love this recipe because it's so delicious. So please try it and please enjoy it. I'll come back next time with another amazing recipe. Thank you very much. 감사합니다.